What up, y'all? It's Mr. Zach, and I'm back with another reaction. As the whole world found out, uh, all at once was breaking news about Jay-Z, Sean Carter, was implicated in the P. Diddy S. scandal. Uh, that's a shame, man. <laughs> it's a shame. I don't mean to laugh. It ain't funny because I wouldn't want to be caught up in that situation. And I would never be caught up in that situation because I ain't like them dudes. But um, we got a lot of people that's surprised. We got a lot of people that's not surprised. Uh, about the whole situation with Diddy and uh, Sean Carter. Um, I'm one of those ones that's not surprised. Now, I can go through the whole case and read all the dockets and all this stuff. But everybody, all you got to do is search it up, man. It's there. We already know what happened. So, uh, 24 years ago, allegedly, Sean and uh, P. Diddy, Puffy, allegedly graped a 13-year-old child. Okay, so let me tell y'all something, the people that's so surprised. Um, you know, when you went to high school, I'm quite sure you, you've been to high school if you're watching this. Um graduated you know did what you did in high school and all that but there were those guys who would come to the school and you'll see seniors and junior girls getting into these cars with these uh guy older guys that that happened it happens i don't know if it's currently happening now but when i was in high school that's what was happening. These girls were young and they were, they were getting in cars with older guys. Um, you know, leaving the school with them, leaving us high school guys with nobody to talk to. Cause all the girls would, you know, I ain't gonna say every one of them, but a lot of them did. You had those few, let me put it that way. You had those few. Um, <clears throat> you got to think about it, man. 24 years ago, uh, P. Diddy been on and there were parties. So you got to, you have to think, man, look, Justin Bieber, Usher, Aaliyah, Foxy Brown, hell, Beyonce was 18 when, when, uh, when Jay-Z met her. So it wasn't, it shouldn't have been like a surprising thing to see a younger person because, you know, young people, you know, the 13 year old, 14, 15, stuff like that. Some of those kids be looking grown old enough to pass you know what i'm saying you know they old, they look old enough but anyway not to even get on that all i'm saying is that uh those people that i named were kids and these two guys puffy and uh jay-z were in the limelight with those young people so what makes you think that that thing couldn't that that thing could have happened? The graping by these two guys allegedly. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying that it was right or the. I the first time I heard, it, I'm like, where's this girl parents at? Who the hell was the friend that dropped her off? Who the hell was the limo driver? You know what I'm saying? Who was the hell the person that gave this young person a drink? You know what I'm saying? I asked all those questions. You know? It's just a shame, man, that people uh, would take advantage of somebody young like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe that girl was so scared when she found out when all the when all this stuff started coming out, she had the nuts to bring it out. She probably wasn't one of those ones that fell victim to wanting stardom and all this other stuff and holding secrets and all these things. But who am I to judge, man? Look, look, man, I wasn't even going to touch on this subject, but man, I had to. This is just a shame, man. It's a shame. That lawyer Busby said, man, look, we're going to be surprised about the names that come out in this situation. You already told them just give yourself up or you're going to get scrutinized publicly. So 
this is what's going on, man. But look, man, protect y'all kids, man. Don't let your kids go out to these places by themselves, especially at that young age, man. We had chaperones. I come from that era when you had to have a chaperone. We need to start bringing that back because there's a lot of crazy and weird things going on in this world, man. All right. So, man, like I said, protect yourself, man. Protect your kids at all times, man. Keep your head on the swivel. And look, let me tell y'all something else. I'm back. All right back so it's gonna be a lot more content coming from this channel man i had to take a hiatus i had to get a few things in order but now they are in order you know god bless me you know what i'm saying so we're gonna keep this thing going man y'all tap in tune in and all the above so be looking out for more content all right so man once y'all hit that subscribe button for me hit the share button man like the video all right it's greatly appreciated but anyway man i'm mr zach reacts and I'm out. And I'm back. Peace. This ain't over. We gon' keep going. It's Mr. Zach. You tuned in to the greatest. The mother YouTubers ain't me, I ain't famous It's Mr. Zach, I'ma give you to you all and cut Smash that like button, give me all a thumbs up My page the realest, the realest you gon' come across I'm the boss